For more videos on people's struggles, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Abakal Basam John Dolo are really concerned about the ongoing uh, evictions that, is, that are taking place in our cities, uh, particularly in the city of Durban in South Africa. The evictions are often at a gunpoint, unlawful and violent. So this is part of the um, whole range of, of, of planned attack on indigenous people, but uh, also on the right to the city of, you know, of, the, of the ordinary people coming to cities. And we are seeing a lot of um, gentrification and, of course, the intensification of, uh, you know, a state that is um, declaring a war on its uh, indigenous people. So our cities have been taken over by mafias and gangsters. We are seeing our cities being militarizing and uh, we've suffered a lot in the hands of a number of municipalities, not only in Durban, Johannesburg and Cape Town. This is a clear attack on the poor and uh, of our right to city and of our right to self-determination as, as the poor people uh, of South Africa. So this is really concerning us. And, um, you know, within the midst of that, we want to appreciate that the Sheikh Dollars movement, Abakal Basam Jondolo, still um, resist all these um, evictions and degradation of people. And we want to put more effort in organizing and resisting because we have no other choice but to stand firm against this attack on the indigenous people, the attack on the impoverished people. So we need to stand together as, as the organization, do um, our, our work in terms of making sure that we reclaim our right to the cities and our right to freedom. And nobody else will deliver this uh, to us and of course Real freedom will never be delivered to us, but it will have to be taken. And this is what we are committed to do, to reclaim our right to the cities. Members of the movement have been very courageous in rebuilding after each and every eviction. That's what we do. So what has been more disturbing in this recent attack is that the state, particularly the Itaewon municipality, has not only been confiscating the belongings of the people, but they've actually been burning down all the belongings of the people and this leaves us no choice but to continue resisting and also give support and solidarity uh, to the people that are resisting you know, their right to city. So our next stage, of course, as a, as a movement is to seek solidarity within the popular movement but also seek uh, legal uh, uh, um, advice into this. And of course, our first line of defense has been organizing and we use uh, media as our second strategic plan in order to expose this um, violation of human rights. But of course, litigation becomes our last resort. And we are exploring right now uh, the means to take these uh, matters to court. And, 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 and of course, we've been winning um, all these uh, court cases. We've interdicted the city 100 times, but they continue to demolish and evict people arbitrarily. This means without the, eviction, uh, without the court order and without the uh, regards all, of all the national uh, legislation that requires them to um, carry these evictions. So surely uh, the behavior of the state has not just been unlawful, but these are criminal acts that needs to be condemned at, at all levels. This is a history in making. Abakali has had to identify its allies. And one of those allies, of course, is to seek a political home for the future that we want. And of course, the Social Revolutionary Workers' Party has been uh, presented to us and of course uh, through the mass support of one of the biggest labor movement in South Africa, the National Union of Metal Workers of South Africa, who have actually thought uh, that the Socialist Revolutionary Workers' Party would be the instrument that would unite not only the labor movement and social movement, but the entire working class and, and the labor movement. So, we are part of constructing the future that we want. And the SRWP is one of these um, strategic um, instruments that the labor movement as well as the social movement 
seeks to use, you know, as a political instrument to fight for the future that we want, the world of equality, the world of justice, the world where respect, dignity becomes the order of the day, and this is what we want. Yeah, and, uh,